Hi guys and welcome back to Science with Miss Wardell. Today we're on page one or 410 and 411. We're talking about why climates differ. So why do climates differ? Why does it rarely snow in Florida? Why isn't Alaska warm year round? And what things make one climate different from the other? Have you ever wondered that? As you read this page, draw one line under cause, draw two lines under effect. Different factors, so I'm going to draw um, a red line under cause, and I'm going to hopefully, nope, that will not work. I'm going to draw a black line under effect so that you can see the different colors, okay? Alright, so cause and effect. Different factors affect the kind of climate a place has. Okay, these factors include distance from the equator. Well, we found that out the other day when we talked about um, the different zones. Um, elevation, we knew that when we talked about the mountain with the giraffe, and nearness to bodies of water, wind, and landforms. Most places that are close to the equator have warmer climates than places that are farther away. Okay, but if a place has a high elevation, it will have a cool climate even if it is on the equator. Oh, so now this could be a cause, but we would need to find an effect for it. That's why snowy mountaintops can be found in tropical places. There's an effect. So our cause is, but if a place has high elevation, it will have a cool climate even if it is on the equator. And the effect being that is the snowy mountaintops that can be found in a tropical place. Much like the giraffe with the mountaintop, the snowy mountaintop. Alright, oceans and large lakes affect climates too. Water heats up and cools down more slowly than land does. So places near the coast often are cooler in summer and warmer in winter than places from the ocean. Landforms such as mountains and wind can affect rain patterns. So I was listening and one of those cause and effect words that helped me to draw a connection to effect is so. So places, so here's an effect. So places near the coast often are cooler in the summer and warmer in the winter than places from, than places far from the ocean. Which means that the cause of that is that water heats up and cools down more slowly than land does. Here it talks about different colors on the ocean show more temperature and the warmest water is colored red. So that's why we have toward, sort of like a rainbow effect. All that red is really warm water and the coolest is blue. The Gulf Stream is a warm ocean current. It flows up near the equator. It flows along the east coast of North America and then crosses the Atlantic towards North Europe. It deeply affects the temperature and precipitation amounts of nearby coastal areas. So it's saying that it goes up and over, right? So it goes up and over this way, this Gulf Stream. Wind carries wet air from the ocean to land, causing a wet climate. And if there is a mountain, the air moves up the mountain and cools. 
clouds form and the precipitation happens on the ocean side of the mountain. The air, now dry, moves down the far side of the mountain, and this side has a dry climate. It is, it's in a rainy shadow. So here you can sort of see what they're talking about. Here we're talking about two. We're going to look at the prediction change or predicting change. Town A is located near the coast along which a warm ocean current flows. So a coast down here. All right? So the area where the ocean meets the land. Um, predict what would happen to the climate of town A if the ocean current stopped flowing. What would happen? If it stopped flowing, right, notice it gets warm, warm, and cool once it like, reaches land. So if it didn't have this water coming in, would it be warm? No, it would just become really cool and dry, right? Because it says that the air now dry moves down the far side of the mountain. So here it would, if it doesn't have the warm um, ocean coming in, then it would just be really cool and dry because it's already cool and then without the water coming in, it wouldn't have the precipitation. So no precipitation would mean the dry. No water coming in means that it's only cool, not warm. And then no precipitation. Cool and dry, period. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.